द केमिकल्स टेकन फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट आर बेरियम नाइट्रेट सोडियम क्लोराइड एंड सोडियम कार्बोनेट इंडिकेटर यूज यूनिवर्सल इंडिकेटर सोल्यूशन द एपरेटस रिकॉर्ड आर थ्री पीकर्स वन कॉनिकल फ्लास्क थ्री टेस्ट ट्यूब्स विथ टेस्ट ट्यूब स्टैंड वन ग्लास रॉड एंड वन स्पैचुलर एट फर्स्ट वी एड ए लिटिल अमाउंट ऑफ बेरियम नाइट्रेट इन वन ऑफ द बीकर विथ वाटर देन वी स्टर इट टू गेट अ क्लियर सोल्यूशन In the second beaker, we add a very small amount of sodium chloride and and stir it to get a clear solution. In the third beaker, we add little amount of sodium carbonate and stir it to get a clear solution. then we add the solution one by one in three different test tubes then we add the universal indicator solution taken in a conical flask and add in each of the test tube it turns into red the second one turns into green the third one turns into blue chemistry behind the hydrolysis of salts when salts are formed either by a strong acid and weak base or a strong base and weak acids get dissolved in water the water molecules break up the salts and the solutions show either acidic or basic character barium nitrate is formed by barium hydroxide which is a weak base and nitric acid which is a strong acid so when dissolved in water it shows acidic character and thus turns universal indicator solution red the reaction is as follows bano3 whole twice plus h2o gives baoh whole twice plus 2hno3 sodium chloride is formed by sodium hydroxide which is a strong base and hydrochloric acid which is a strong acid so when dissolved in water it remains neutral in character and thus the universal indicator solution remains green in color the reaction is as follows nacl plus h2o remains as nacl plus h2o sodium carbonate is formed by sodium hydroxide which is a strong base and carbonic acid which is a weak acid so when dissolved in water it shows basic character and thus turns universal indicator solution blue and the reaction is as follows na2co3 plus h2o gives 2 naoh plus h2co3